everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to do a really quick and casual pregnancy update. This is going to be my 31 and wait 30 and 31 week pregnancy update. I'm currently 31 weeks. Sorry I'm just pulling up my notes. I have to write everything down because otherwise I forget it. <sighs> okay so th the last few weeks my skin has been breaking out. I mean, I know everybody gets breakouts, but I, t I really don't get that many ever since I took Accutane. And so for me to have so many in a row is unusual. And they're all like happening right here. I've covered these up, but they look like a mountain range. But anyway, what are you gonna do? I've noticed that I think from about the second half on, I've noticed that I've had a lot more acne outbreaks and a lot of little underneath the skin bumps that like they haven't quite developed into pimples, but I'm sure they will. So whatever, it's fine. I just try to be really diligent about my skincare routine, which I've kept up a lot better than I ever have in my whole life. So I'm proud of myself for that. I do seem to be retaining more water and I've noticed this especially when I eat really like high glycemic index foods like high sugar like refined sugar foods like breads pastas um ice cream ice cream is my downfall I don't know if I've told you guys this before but the Haagen-Dazs chocolate ice cream is the best it is the only ice cream that I eat I love it and I eat way too much of it and I can definitely tell. I think I can tell more now because when I'm editing my videos, I see myself and I see like my face <laughs> and stuff. So maybe it's just me that's noticing it, but I do feel as though I am retaining more water. It's not excessive. I don't have swollen ankles or anything like that. It's just something that I've noticed, I think mostly in my face, especially when I don't eat right and walk enough during the day. <laughs> So this is something I've been in denial about for a while. And I finally started to, I finally accepted that I'm growing baby hairs. Like, I don't know if you can, can you, oh yes, <laughs> here we go. Perfect example. Example A. Every time I get up, like, can, can we just, there. Do we see these, these little nuggets? They refuse to cooperate. I think this is like my second round already. So the first time I wasn't sure whether it was just me recovering from the other pregnancy and growing back hair that I had lost or if this was new hair growth. And I'm gonna say this round is definitely new hair growth. I think my hair is starting to feel thicker. <laughs> the reason I didn't want to accept it is because I don't wanna think about the possibility of losing so much hair afterwards. I already have pretty thin hair, so the thought of losing hair is a little bit frightening to me. But I honestly, the first pregnancy, I didn't notice any hair loss. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't care that much, but I didn't notice any. So, so I'm not really thrilled about the possibility of losing more. But last time I did, but last time I did continue to take my prenatal vitamins, which may have helped either slow it. And I know that you're not like losing your hair. It's just hair that would have been lost naturally anyway and that you regain your cycle and blah, 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 blah. But it's not something I want to do. So I just, I'm going to, I'm going to live in denial until it hits me in the face. It's okay. It's going to be fine. Heartburn is definitely getting worse. I think it's just because of the physical size of the baby and my stomach doesn't have as much room as it used to. I mean, I was already, like I said before, I was already susceptible to heartburn to begin with. So it's not anything new. It's just, I have less room. And now if I eat something really late or high in sugar at night, I regret it. And it wakes me up at about 3 a.m 
when speaking of hard work, I feel like right now I haven't taken my medicine yet. I am taking medicine every day now for it. I just, I can't, I can't deal with it. I feel like it's burning a hole in my throat. It's not okay. So like I said, there's less room for my stomach because the baby's getting bigger, which means I get full a lot faster. Doesn't, doesn't mean I'm not eating as much. Trust me, I'm eating plenty. But I do tend to get full a lot faster at meals, which, you know, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it will teach me to eat proper portions. Another big change that I've noticed in the last two weeks is that I have a lot more, is that I have a lot more cramping in my calves and feet. My feet in particular, I don't remember it being as much in the last pregnancy, but again, I didn't document it, so how would I know? But it tends to come on, like when you squeeze really hard or you, like when you flex your muscle, excuse me, when you flex your muscles really hard, um, I just noticed that it's something different. It's not causing me a good deal of grief or anything like that. It's not really an issue. I really, I don't have any real issues to speak of, guys. I'm so boring. I'm sorry. But that's just, those are the things that are new with me. I mean, obviously, I am getting bigger. I feel, I feel enormous. And I'm going to feel more enormous. So that's not anything out of the ordinary. But, yeah. That's everything that's new with me. I will show you guys the bump for 31 weeks really quick. He is definitely... Okay, let's that back. He is definitely getting bigger. It's probably easier to see with this white shirt. This front. The other side. So that's everything for these two weeks. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these updates. La, la, la. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these updates. I will be here every other week with pregnancy updates. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!